Namaskar. Namaskar. My name is Ritu Roy. We are here at Om Shakti Temple. <clears throat> Today, we are going to be talking about 27th March one more time. This is our second candlelight vigil. We had our first candlelight vigil at Gita Temple. Um, this is our second candlelight vigil with a few, we'll have some few speakers, a few prayers. And the reason why I want to reinforce this one more time again, the 27th March is a very, 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 very important day as it is the Ramnakali Bari uh, massacre with 50 devotees killed, cows, big temple structure that has been has been collapsed by the Pakistani military army. It has been rebuilt, but not to its former glory. Um, and, you know, it's not just a day to talk about um, March 27, 1991, but really the ongoing attacks against Bangladeshi Hindus. And this is why this day is very, very important. I would like to initially introduce Prabhuji, who will speak a few words about the Bali Hindu genocide and the and ba being Bali Hindu in general. So, if Prabhu can come up. Hare Krishna. So, ask him she din, she din neer kotha mona hole. Ask him mother kai shiron diye uti. She hi dinе Ramna Kalibari Mandir, Pakistani Hanadar Bahine ra. Kuchokri Mohol Mile take a donksos to paper in Otto Kore. Among Shekanke Shekane Taka Ba Shekane Pujaroto, Onik Hindu Dorma Bolombi, Kisu Dormopan, a Manuskat or a Nirmum Babe Hotakore. Jar follows Rudite, Asker Din, at a Kalo Ratri, Bakalo Din, Kolom Kit at a Din Hishabe, Askamade, Angladesh Hindura, take a small on Kore. তাই আমরা প্রার্থনা হচ্ছে আমরা এটা আহ্বান জানাই আজকের এই দিন থেকে একটা সুকবহ দিন হিসাবে ঘোষণা করা হোক এটাই বাংলাদেশ সরকারের প্রতি আমাদের আকুল আবেদন কারণ এই দিনে একটা শরণার্থীত একটা হত্যাকাণ্ড হয়েছে এ তীব্র নিন্দা জানাই এবং এই রকম ঘটনা যাতে না হয় এই জন্য সরকারকে Shuchin to mat mane shiddham to nohar aho panchane. Hare Krishna. Next up, we will have Mr. Dutta. Namendu Dutta. Namendu Dutta. Speak a few words. Namaskar. My name is Namendu Dutta, and uh, I'm the president of the Unity Council. I mean, Hindu Buddhist Christian Unity Council, USC. Uh, it is, we are fighting long time, especially after the death of Bhagavad Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Uh, the country is going some other direction, what we never wanted. But that's happening. It is like another, going to be like Pakistan style, which is not at all accepted. But anyway, today is 27th March, Ramna Kalibari. We are at that time, we are the student of Dhaka University. I was of the master degree final year. I was also in the that meeting in uh, uh, Sheikh Mujib's race course modern. It was a huge, like 10 plus people were there while he announced for the freedom. But Pakistani army, it is not just after the partition of India, Hindus are always being targeted by the Pakistani rulers or the their extremists. And especially the authority of the Pakistani always they deprive Hindus. But in the 1971, when the war started, 27th March, they demolished the Ramna Kalibari. It was a huge, it was the one of the oldest temples uh, for the Hindu faith, like 700, 800 years old. And that was the most, that is, we shocked us that to regain that land after the liberation, it took so many years. And at that time, the government power tried to seize most of the land uh, to the Surat Dhuvdar. But finally we got it back and we thanks to Indian government that they financed to rebuild the temple, Ramna Kalibari. It was not even financed by the Bangladesh government. It was financed by the Modi government to rebuild it. 
So this is another shame for our community. But at that time, Pakistanians, especially they targeted Hindus, they marked something that this is Hindu house, so they targeted, they killed Hindus. And there was a nearby was the Jagannath Hall, the Hindu residential Dhaka University, Jagannath Hall, where they killed by standing in the line by shooting. But anyway, today is the 27th, that should be declared as the Hindu genocide on that very day. It is 51 years past, but we still did not get the recognition from the world that that should be, that should be observed whole internationally as the genocide day, 25th March. That's what the Bangladeshi wanted. Thank you. Um, next up we have Mr. Sitang Shu, if he can say a few words. Uh, namaste everybody. My name is Shitan Shibuha. I first thank Ritu Rai and his, uh, her friends for arranging such a wonderful event because we are forgetting this thing, uh, which we should not forget. Yes, what happened in Ramna Kalibari is most unfortunate on 27th March 1971. 200, more than 200 Pakistani army surrounding the whole temple. At 2 a.m. in the morning, they started killing people, and they killed actually almost 50 people, 100 people, which is, which is a shame, and destroyed the whole temple and burned it down. That temple we get back after 51 years. You are talking about Hindu genocide. Yes, on 25th March, 1971, by Operation Searchlight. Pakistani army cracked down in East, uh, Didan East Pakistan, which is now Bangladesh, and they targeted not only uh, uh, EPR or Razarbag, they also targeted three Hindu inst installations, Jagannath Hall, Shakhari Bajar, and Ramna Kalibari after two days. And all, all these three places were where Hindu used to live, and they kill um, uh, mercilessly. There is almost that means operations hostilized but targeted to kill Hindus. 1971, this all all nine months, the Pakistani army and the collaborators killed Hindus targeted. That means they also kill other people, but Hindus were killed only because of their faith. And actually, this Hindu killing or Hindu genocide started with the, inv uh, the Mughal invasion of India. That, that is the starting. And in six, we saw, we saw Calcutta, Calcutta riot uh, uh, organized by the Chief Minister Hussain Swain Shorawardi. And the 1950 Noakhali riot. There are 5,000 people who are killed, almost 50,000 was converted, and women's hormones were raped. I, I don't know, I don't have any language to say, but the soy. And then it started Borisal, and then Narangons, and in 1977. Still today, Hindu atrocities in Bangladesh is ongoing. I don't know when it will stop. But how we can say this, you see the Hindus are still fleeing from Bangladesh, according to Abul Barakat. Every day, six, 650 to 30 people are leaving Bangladesh. That's why population in 1971, 19.7, today is 10.5, according to government statistics. You saw Kashmir files, which, which is the truth, and more than truth. We want Bangladesh files. We want 1971 Hindu fights. We want Noah Khali fights. We want 1946 Calcutta, Calcutta fights. So I again uh, appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. And, and let's help the helpless Hindus. Thank you. Next up, we have two members from Stop Hindu Genocide NYC that would like to say some few words. Um, please come up. 
So I'd like to tell you a story about refugees and all the refugee experiences that happened in 1971. So 10 million people had to leave the country, Bangladesh, because they were going to be targeted by the Pakistan army and the Razakars and Al-Badar and all their supporters. And because of that, all these people had to leave the country and take refuge in India. 10 million people. There's so many countries and cities that are the size of 10 million. And th this many people had to leave the country to f because they feared extermination by the Pakistan army and all their supporters. And including one of these, my grandmother's story, it personally hits home because she had to carry her two babies, my mom and my uncle, on both hands and cross tens, if not 100 miles by walking and hitchhiking at very generous people and kind people's houses of all religions. And they had to stay and, and, and migrate to get out of the country because otherwise they would have been brutally slaughtered and, and raped and all kinds of violating things that the army would have done and they were doing to our people there. To Hindus, Buddhists, Sikhs, and even some moderate liberal Muslims as well. They were doing it to all kinds of people, and especially they were targeting the Hindus by writing H on our buildings. And then if, if there was a Hindu living in some building, they marked us up. It was just like similar to the Holocaust and how the Nazis would label the Jews more. It was similar to that. And all our people were targeted just because of our faith, because they didn't do anything. They weren't even, some of them didn't even pick up arms. They would slaughter old people and women and enslave them in humane activities like that. So in this remembrance, we'd like to take the time to remember all these the potential slaughter and destruction of their house, their livelihoods, and their humanity. Okay? So this is why we're here. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone watching here as well. And so here's another member. I'll be adding on more about the atrocities faced by Hindus and the minorities of Bangladesh. It ranged from many various nefarious activities, such as um, this was not the only massacre that happened, the Ranakali massacre, where um, over close to 400 people got murdered. But all throughout Bangladesh, since Operation Searchlight started, there have been certain um, locations in Bangladesh where national monuments have been made, memorials have been made to recognize that thousands of people have been massacred at that spot. And I'm telling you, some were 3,000 people, other places were 2,000. So it all adds up. And also, I want to talk about how Hindus were forcefully converted and forced fed beef, um, which is sacrilegious to them. And um, besides these um, um, cruel methods, they also uh, raped the women and even um, the policemen involved during that time were, um, and the army, um, Pakistan army and the allied forces that were involved were also participating in these activities. And the Pakistan, then Pakistan government implemented an enemy property act that has, still hasn't been revoked which is used to target Hindu property, and um, it is usurped by um, criminal gang gangs in Bangladesh. And I also want to talk about the um, certain methods that they would use to discriminate against the Hindu um, population. During the war, there are pictures available um, all throughout the internet of, um, of Pakistani officials checking if people were circumcised or not. And this is how they recognize if they were Hindu or not. So you can tell by the brutality that were inflicted on us that this is, in a, um, this is um, very sad to learn about how inhumane um, extremists can be. And I think we should um, work toward the future to eliminate these extremists and have a truly secular environment. Okay, thank you. And thank you. Thank you for that wonderful speech by our two members. Uh, we would like to have another member speak. Um, he will speak in some words in Hindi. So, Namaskar. Uh, thank you for uh, me to speak up in this stage. In the English. Uh, <laughs> uh, genocide. Shabd sunte hi aapko kya yaad aata hai? Janata hai shabd sunte hi aapko yaad aata hai jo jo hatsa Germany mein hua, Jews ke saath, wohi yaad aata hai. Lekin history mein dekha jaye 
तो हिंदुओं को तब भी जनसर हो रहा था आज भी जनसर हो रहा है इसका कोई अंत ही नहीं है तो आज के आज के नव युवकों को देखकर मुझे बहुत प्रेरणा मिलती है कि ये आज के आज के जो नव नव युग है जो आज जनसर के बारे में बात करते हैं जनसर के को याद करते हैं और लोगों को इकट्ठा करते हैं कि ताकि वो याद करें श्रद्धांजलि दे जो भी जिनका भी जिस टाइम से वो गुजरे थे अगर वो उस टाइम पे जागरूक नहीं होते और आज के आज की युवा जागरूक नहीं होती तो आज कोई भी बात नहीं कर सकता था तो मैं इसके लिए थैंक यू बोलता हूँ मतलब धन्यवाद सबको इकट्ठा करने के लिए आपको बोला आइए 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 Uh, thank you for giving me the privilege to speak here. Uh, I, mean, I don't know how to say exactly. Uh, in 1971, uh, I was just one year old, you know. But when I grew up, I learned about history of our war, independent war, and I was in Bangladesh in the university, Jagannath Hall, and I used to go to Ramna, uh, Ramna Park all the time, but never knew that there was a Kali temple actually. And after coming here in the United States, uh, just few years ago, I came to know about. Uh, And that there is a temple, Kali Mundi, in Ramna Park, uh, just a few years back from now. And I can tell that how much as a Hindu or we are really know so little about our own culture, our own history and tradition. So a few words I would like to say um, is that if you are at home right now and you are a proud Hindu and you resonate with the lives of the um, with today's holiday please be sure to take a picture of a candle offer a prayer and tag us at stop hindu genocide nyc add hindu samara and add stories of the gala hindus um we will be quickly doing a short prayer right now um we'll oh, my hand hurts द्रा पश्यंत मा कचि दुख भवे ओ जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वाषादि गौर भक्त बृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे पृथ्वी सकल प्राणी सुखी हो एवं जरा आज के दिन रमना कलिवरी मंदिरे आत्मत्याग कर तर आत्मार सदगति कमना कर Thank you for participating our live and this video recording will be on YouTube very very shortly have a wonderful evening Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, 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 Hare, Rama. Hare one more time Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare third chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare fourth chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Shri Ram Jai Shri Ram Jai Shri Ram